Hi everyone, if you are a teacher, student or worker that is looking for a nice way to stay productive working very focused on your tasks, I have the right solution for you. Stick around because I show you a very nice feature available in Windows 11 called Focus Session and Focus Assist that helps you to boost your productivity working very focused on your tasks. I show you how you can set up this feature and how you can use it. Let's get started. Here I am on my Windows machine. Let's start with Focus Session. I will type on the Windows key on my keyboard and then I will search for Clock. This is the app that offer Focus Session. Let me open it. And here as first feature we have Focus Sessions. On the left here we can see the classic feature coming with the clock up, timer, alarm, stopwatch, word clock. And in the first position, we have this new capability, focus sessions. Now, here we have several tiles. We have ready, set, focus. So here you can set your focus time, how long you want to stay in focus mode. You can set 60 minutes, for example, and then you will have one break in this time range. If you want, you can check skip breaks if you don't want to have any kind of break in this one. Here we have the play button. Just clicking on it, you will start your focus session. But before to do it, let's explore any other feature available in this new capability. We have here below another tile with to do. Focus session is integrated with Microsoft to do. If you are working with Microsoft a Microsoft account, personal account or a Microsoft business account. You have just to sign in and here you will have the list of your tasks coming from Microsoft to do. Then on the right we have daily progress. If I click here on this pencil we can see that you can set your daily goal. One hour for example. Then below clear, clear daily progress and completed tasks. Include weekends in streaks. Let me uncheck this feature, let me click on cancel, it's fine to have this set up. And now let's go to the last tile, which is pretty cool, it's Spotify. If you have Spotify installed on your Windows machine, you will have this button, link your Spotify. Otherwise, there will be visible the button install Spotify. Now, as I mentioned, I already have this up. I have just to click on this button to link my app to this clock app. Now, before to start, I want to sign in so I can play with Microsoft To Do. I am now signed in with one of my Microsoft account. In the task style, we can see that there is a new task available now. I can click on the plus button if I want to create additional tasks. For example, prepare the PowerPoint presentation for the new internet. Let me tap on the return key and now I can select this task for my focus session. I selected now this task and now I can decide if link Spotify directly to the clock app so it's more easy to handle playlists and songs that I want to play or I can run separately Spotify. It's up to you how you prefer to work. Last thing to call out here is the settings panel. Going there there is the section focus sessions and here you can configure a bunch of things. There is first of all the possibility to set the period of focus. As default it's automatic but you can set 1 hour, 45, 30, 15 minutes. Then break period. There is 5 minutes, 10 minutes and 15 minutes. Finally, you can disable or enable specific uh, feature. There is the end of session sound. And if I drop this down, you can uh, even select the alarm sound that you want. End of break sound. Here again, there is the selection of the sound that you prefer. Enable or disable Spotify. You can sign in also from here. And then you can disable or enable Microsoft to do. Now going back to the focus session, I can start now my session just clicking on the button start focus session. The session starts, we can see the remaining time for the next 5 minutes break. 
During your focus session, it's very important to use the focus assist as well. Now, typing on the Windows key, I can search for focus. I can search for focus and here we go. I have focus assist automatic rules. Let's click on it. So we can now see that there is this functionality focus assist as a best practice is good to alarms only during your focus session. So you will not get notified from your apps. Otherwise, you can have a mid configuration, a medium configuration like priority only. So you will get notifies only from specific apps that you can define in this list. If I scroll down, you can even add contacts if you want to add specific people that contact, can contact you during the focus session. You can do it by clicking on the plus button here and the same thing for apps. During my focus assist on, only the clock app can send me notification. Now going back, of course, the last option is off and this means that all your apps will send you notification. All right, we have seen in this video a tip how to stay productive working with Focus Session and Focus Assist. If you enjoyed this video, as always, give a like, comment, subscribe to stay tuned with my next videos. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.